Welcome back, geometers. On today's show, I'd like to talk with us about the idea of limiting parallels. Uh, that's the idea in this video and probably the next one also. We want to talk about the idea of limiting parallels. This is what we mean by limiting parallels. Two rays, PD and AB, are limiting parallel rays. And we denote that by saying that ray PD is a limiting parallel to ray AB. Uh, so this is half of the parallel uh, symbol. And that almost makes sense because of what's about to follow. This is uh, like we're making the parallel sign, but only one of the two lines. Uh, PD and AB are limiting parallel rays if B and D are on the same side of ray PA, ray PD does not intersect ray AB, and every ray in the interior of angle DPA does intersect ray AB. So picture, here's ray AB. Here's ray PD, there's segment PA. D and B are on the same side of PA. PD is parallel to AB, and every ray in the interior of angle APD intersects ray AB. This one does, this one does. There is no rogue parallel ray. There's no rogue parallel ray inside of angle DPA. That's what we mean by limiting parallel rays. And there's a pretty important theorem for us to think about right off the bat. If ray PD is a limiting parallel for ray AB, then line PD is parallel to line AB. And this is one of those things we should think about. Here's, line, here's ray AB and ray PD. This is the limiting parallel. There's segment PA. So you may wonder, well, how do we know that this line doesn't swing around and that line doesn't swing around? How do we know we don't get that going on? How do we know that line PD doesn't intersect line AB on the other side of AP from B and D? Well, here, here's how we don't know. Uh, I'm sorry, here's how we know that it doesn't. The measure of angle APD is greater than the measure of angle AQB by the exterior angle theorem. AQP is a triangle, APD is an exterior angle for triangle AQP, so the exterior angle must have a bigger measure than either of their own interior angles. Well, what does that mean? That means if this is the bigger one, we can copy this angle over here. We can copy it. We can create a ray PE such that angle DPE is congruent to angle PQA. We can do that. Because APD is bigger than AQP, so we can take this smaller angle and bring it in there. Well, what's the big deal with that? Well, then these are two lines cut by a transversal and the corresponding angles are congruent. And if the corresponding angles are congruent, then line PE is parallel to line AB. Well, that's a contradiction because PD is a limiting parallel ray for AB. And so ray PE must intersect ray AB. So this can happen. And therefore, the theorem is established. I should also note, and your textbook gives the proof, 
if ray PD is a limiting parallel for ray AB, then ray AB is a limiting parallel for ray PD. Um, that goes both ways. That's an important thing for you to have in mind. Okay, so we'll talk about endpoint independence and, and some other stuff in another video, but that's good for now.